Okay, let's talk shoes. I've just got my hands on a pair of the New Balance Fuel Cell Impulse. Uh, I'm a bit slow on the uptake because some of the foot traffic athletes have already got pairs, so uh, here I've finally got my hands on some. I uh, haven't been for running them yet. Uh, these are my first impressions. I'm going to uh, come back with um, a bit more of a, uh, of a review on how they perform on the road later on, but let's have a look at them first. So what do you reckon? Pretty sweet, eh? This is the uh, fuel cell impulse, as I said, and color is flame and black. I think you can see why they call it flame. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, a couple of things. Super light, very, very light. Uh, in fact, I weighed these on the kitchen scales, 250 grams for a size 11, 11 men's. So that's, that's, a, that's a very, very light shoe for, uh, for a reasonably sized foot. So great start. A um, couple of things I really noticed with them First of all is, um, I love it how these have a quite a high toe spring. Now New Balance calls this the launch angle outsole. Um, so just basically this area here where it comes along flat through the midfoot and pops up through the forefoot as a toe spring. So when you are running, it's it's very, very easy just to feel your foot move forward onto the forefoot as you propel, propel off. Uh, shoes with a high toe spring tend to be a high performing shoe um, and I think uh, you know, the, that's the sort of feature that we see in a lot of the, the high performance technical shoes on the market at the moment. So awesome to see that they've um, integrated that feature into these shoes. Uh, they feel really nicely cushioned, um, cruising around the house in my jeans and my running shoes. Um, that's a that's a pretty good test. Uh, but yeah, well, I think once on the road, they'll uh, they'll certainly come into their own in that area. Um, they uh, they feel very responsive. So um, whilst we say they're cushioned. Um, they also have uh, a, a very responsive firm feel to them as well. So um, the feedback from the ground back to your foot is, uh, is very quick um, and it allows for a, a very rapid um, stride turnover or reduced ground contact. Uh, basically, it's, easy, it's going to be easy to run fast in these shoes. Um, awesome for uh, you know, those faster tempo sessions. Uh, I think that'll be an amazing uh, marathon race shoe. Um, I might have a marathon to do in a few months time so this might be the show of choice for that but more about that later um, <clears throat> a couple of nice features gusseted tongue so you might not be able to see it on video but it's a one-piece tongue so uh, as a triathlon shoe this is great easy to put the foot in you're not going to lose the tongue around the side of your foot um, and it, it just allows a really really nice snug fit around the foot as well um, we're going to get into a little bit of biomechanics here and I'll see how good my memory is from uh, from my sports podiatry days, but uh, uh, basically they they have a slightly flared forefoot. So if you look straight down the shoe, you'll see it comes out a little bit on the lateral side. Um, this this basically allows, um, as you hit the ground, uh, lateral forces to drive against the foot and prevent you from tipping outward. So that basically um, reinforces the, the the neutral features of the shoe if, if this was a if this was not a flared um, lateral forefoot it would be easy to roll onto the outside of the shoe and essentially supinate the foot as you take off what we actually want to be doing is maintaining the foot <coughs> in that medial position at takeoff so you're sort of coming off your big toe not off your little toe another way it does this is um, is quite a broad lateral forefoot component as well so the the axis of the shoe runs down the middle and it's um, it's basically it's wider there's more there's a longer lever at the lateral side of the longitudinal axis of the of the shoe so as you come in hit the ground again you've got more force on this side of the shoe than you do on this side of the shoe you get that effect it's tipping you over take off off your big toe quick biomechanics <coughs> I think I got it all uh, hit me back if I haven't some of you uh, Biomechanists, biomechanists in the in the audience will probably be able to correct me on some of those. Um, it's oh the other thing, I really really like the fact that they've got this quite high flaring on the medial and lateral side of the rear foot, but it doesn't come all the way around the heel. So as you hit the ground, there is still room for a little bit of heel movement, but you don't have that risk of slipping off that uh, the lateral, the medial side of the shoe. So again, I haven't worn it. But I think this is going to feel quite uh, quite firm and uh, quite a safe shooter, you know, um, to run in. Particularly running downhill, where the impact forces are a lot higher, 
and you're more likely to tip onto the outside of the inside of the shoe, there's going to be a little bit of um, little bit of protection in that area. So, yeah, awesome, awesome looking shoe. I'm really excited to uh, give this a go. Um, if you have any questions, you want to make some comments on it, um, please feel free. Um, leave in the message at the bottom of this uh, of this this video, and uh, yeah, I'll see if I can uh, give you any other information that I have on it. Um, one last thing is it just feels like a really nicely lightweight knitted upper as well. Um, so very, very breathable, um, very, very light, very, very comfortable, very conforming to the foot. So um, go and get you a pair, get yourself a pair. Anyway, catch you around.